There are two solar panels that are dominating the UK solar industry at the moment. The first is of course the ICO Neostar, known for its leading efficiency, low temperature coefficient and cell level optimization. The other panel that we're seeing dominate the market is the Urena Nexa, specifically the 500 watt module. It's manufactured by a more premium and established but lesser known brand than ICO called Urena. In this video, I'm going to break the module down and discuss whether this is the solar panel that you should be looking at for your install. If you'd like to see what factors you should be looking at when comparing different solar panels yourself, check out our video on how to choose a solar panel. To start with, let me tell you a bit about Urena themselves. Established in 1997, Urena is one of Europe's and the world's oldest solar panel manufacturers and is headquartered in Valencia in Spain. The company specializes in producing high quality photovoltaic modules for residential, industrial and commercial rooftops. Their commitment to sustainability and excellence has earned them the EcoVadis Platinum Medal, placing them among the top 1% of the most sustainable companies globally. The Urena Nexa 500 watt module became MCS certified on the 19th of July 2024 in the UK. The Urena Nexa boasts an efficiency of 23.1%. That makes it one of the most efficient panels available at the moment. It's 0.1% more efficient than its closest competitor, the 510 watt Neostar 2. The best solar panels available in 2025 are starting to push the 23 to 24% efficiency mark. And we're expecting the top spec ICO Neostar 3 to be pushing about 24.5% efficiency. Module efficiency is the power output per meter squared. To calculate module efficiency, you hit the panel with 1000 watts of light per meter squared and then see what is outputted. So if the panel is outputting 230 watts per meter squared, it has a module efficiency of 23%. Module efficiency is different to cell efficiency, which is to do with how effective the actual photovoltaic cells within the panels are. I think if you're looking to get solar installed in 2025, you shouldn't be settling for a panel with a lower efficiency than 22.8%. Check out our video on the best solar panels in 2025 to see a comparison of the best panels on the market at the moment. As you'd expect, the solar cells in Urena Nexa are monocrystalline silicon. Monocrystalline simply means that the cell has a single crystal structure. The alternative to monocrystalline is polycrystalline, However, these started to be phased out in 2019, so you most likely won't come across them anymore. You wouldn't want to use a polycrystalline panel if there is a monocrystalline option available. The Urena Nexa also uses the industry standard N-type semiconductor. N-type or negative type cells are made by adding a tiny amount of phosphorus to pure silicon, a process called doping. This helps boost the material's ability to conduct electricity by adding extra electrons, which carry a negative charge. That's where the N in N-type comes from. The alternative to N-type is P-type. P-type semiconductors are created by doping silicon with boron, which results in fewer free electrons, hence the P for positive type. P-type panels can be affected by the boron oxygen defect and tend to degrade faster over time. N-type panels, on the other hand, are more resistant to light-induced degradation and generally offer better long-term performance and degradation warranties. Monocrystalline solar cells with N-type semiconductors are the industry standard in 2025 and will likely be the standard until perovskite panels take over in a few years' time. The panel uses a double glass design, meaning that the cells are sandwiched between two layers of tempered glass, instead of glass on the front with a plastic back sheet, which is typical of most panels. Double glass solar panels offer several performance and durability advantages over traditional glass foil designs. With tempered glass on both sides, these panels are far more resistant to mechanical stress, micro cracks and harsh environmental conditions such as hail, high winds and sand abrasion. Unlike polymer back sheets, which can degrade or delaminate over time, glass provides long-term material stability, contributing to a longer operational lifespan and more reliable performance. Additionally, the airtight seal created by the glass-to-glass -glass construction offers superior protection against moisture and oxygen ingress, helping to minimize potential induced degradation and resulting in lower long-term degradation rates. The dual glass approach means that the back of the panel is transparent, 
Which brings me on to another great feature of this panel, which is the fact that it's bifacial. The Urena Nexa 500 Watt is one of the highest specification bifacial panels on the market. Bifacial panels generate power from both sides by capturing light that is reflected onto the rear of the panel. Urena claims that the bifacial side can add up to 10% generation, meaning that it's capable of generating 550 watts. I'm usually quite skeptical of bifacial panels because I think that ultimately, if your panels are mounted 100 to 160 millimeters off the surface of a roof, then the bifacial side is going to make very little difference to the performance, probably none at all. I recently spoke to one of the reps at JA Solar, one of the leading solar panel manufacturers, and he confirmed this to me. The performance figures given for bifacial panels are obtained by shining a light on the underside of a panel, which is completely unrealistic in the real world. There's just not going to be enough light bouncing around the underside of the panel to noticeably impact the annual generation when panels are installed on a pitched roof. The bifacial side will make more of a difference for ground mounted systems or flat roof systems, where you have multiple rows of panels. In this case, one row of panels may reflect light onto the underside of the next row of panels. We get a wide range of weather conditions in the UK. Temperatures range from below zero to above 30 degrees. Panels are rated to operate in temperatures far harsher than these. However, they perform better at lower temperatures. This brings me on to the temperature coefficient of the Urena Nexa 500 watt, which is minus 0.29% per degree Celsius. That means that for every increase in degree Celsius above 25 degrees, the panel output will drop off by 0.29%. That's pretty standard compared to other panels. When you're investing in a solar panel system, maximizing your return on investment is all about making the most of your roof space. This means that it's essential to choose the right solar panel for your system, and ideally cover as large an area of the roof as possible with photovoltaics. When Spirit Energy designs a solar system, one of the things we spend a lot of time on is looking at how we can get the highest kilowatt peak from the client's roof space. We'll usually look at three different sizes of panel, standard 460 or 470 watt panels, then larger 500 watt panels like the Urena Nexa, and finally jumbo 600 watt plus panels. We'll very often find that by doing this and checking every different configuration of the different panels, we can get a higher kilowatt peak out of the roof and therefore achieve a better return for our clients. If you're getting solar, it's really important to work with an installer that will look at using different configurations of panel types and panel layouts to see which combination will get the highest kilowatt peak out of the roof and therefore the best return. If you'd like to see what you get when you request a quote from Spirit Energy, check out our case study video series, Sam's Solar Journey, which covers the entire project of one of our clients from the initial inquiry to the design, survey, project management, and installation of his solar and battery system. The Urena Nexa measures 1909 millimeters by 1134 millimeters, so it's slightly larger than your standard 460 watt panel. It is heavier too, partly as a result of the dual glass approach, and clocks in at 27 kilograms. It has three bypass diodes built in, which is standard. One of the best things about this panel is its warranty. The Urena Nexa 500 watt panel has a superior warranty compared to most of the other modules on the market. With solar panels, you get two warranties, a product warranty and a performance warranty. The product warranty protects against manufacturing defects and material failures, such as issues with the frame, glass or electrical connections. On the other hand, the performance warranty guarantees that the panel will continue to produce a certain percentage of its original power output over time. While the product warranty ensures the panel remains physically functional, the performance warranty ensures it continues generating electricity at an acceptable rate as it ages. Most solar panels come with a 25-year product and performance warranty. However, the Urena warranty is superior. It comes with a 25-year product warranty as standard. However, this is extendable to 30 years if your panels are purchased through a Urena premium supplier. There's only one premium supplier in the UK, Midsummer, which is where we purchase our Urena panels from, meaning that our clients will get the 30-year Urena premium product warranty. The Nexa also comes with a 30-year performance warranty as standard, and Urena guarantee that the panel will still be able to generate 88% of its initial rated power output after 30 years, meaning that if put under standard test conditions again in 30 years time, the panel should still output 440 watts. 
If you're concerned about solar panel degradation, I'd recommend checking out our video that looks at three systems that Spirit Energy installed in 2010, when the company was founded, and goes into detail as to how those systems are currently performing. One of the things we look at is the solar panel degradation, or lack of degradation. Finally, how does the Urena Nexus stack up price-wise? Well, solar panel prices do fluctuate a lot, and they'll vary depending on installer because suppliers do offer big discounts to installers that do a lot of business with them. As of March 2025, the retail price of the Urena Nexa is about 23.7 pence per watt peak, which is almost identical to the 510 watt Ico Neostar 2. So is it worth it? Should you be shortlisting the Urena Nexa 500 watt for your solar system? I would say absolutely. You're getting a highly efficient, premium, double glass by facial European solar panel from an established manufacturer for pretty much the same price as its closest competitor, the Ico Neostar 510 watt. 